Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here, doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews, and today we are taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Time Force Red Ranger figure. I gotta say, guys, I was very excited to get this figure for you guys and review them for you guys, because uh, one of the sh ones I grew up with a lot other than Mighty Morphin was, uh, was Time Force. I grew up with Mighty Morphin, Time Force, being reruns on my, the channel I watched, and then you had like SPD, Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm. Those were the main ones I grew up watching. So, but getting this guy, I was very excited to get him. But taking a look here at the packaging, you see it says Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Time Force Red Ranger on it. Got this nice, shows the window showing what it's in there. Uh, got this nice little art picture of the Time Force Red Ranger. On the side here, it continues on. It says Power Rangers Time Force up top. On the back, you get a product image shot, which I did notice that I thought was funny was that um, it shows the thumbs up hand there holding the saber, which was funny because the thumbs up hand doesn't hold anything. So I thought that was kind of funny. But um, on the side here, you get another art drawing of the Time Force Red Ranger. And there's not much more at the top or at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack open the Time Force Red Ranger. And here is the Time Force Red Ranger out of the packaging. And I got to say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I'm really loving this figure. Uh, to start us off, though, like we always do, we'll take a look at his accessories. So as you can see, he did come with a, little, a few. So first off, he came with his two interchangeable hands he has a fisted right hand as you can see here it's done very well and then he has a thumbs up left hand or thumbs down depending on how you rotate it so there's that and then he also comes with a Wes head sculpt to make him look like Wes from the show and for that, it's pretty simple. You just pop off the helmet. Then you pop on the head sculpt. So there it is. As you can see, it does look a lot like Wesley. It's not, it's not as well painted as their newer heads, but this still does look a lot like the actor who played Wes. But there's that. Put the helmet back on. And then he does come with some weapons. He comes with his blaster. As you can see here. Which you can put into either of his trigger finger hands. So there's that. And then for his other accessory, he comes with his chrono sabers. Which you can have them combined like this. And he can hold them. I can get his hand around it. Actually, it's easier if you do this. So the other form is you can separate them and you can dual wield them. So as you can see, I always do this one in this hand. And this one I put in this hand. And then since it has that little hook there, I like to hook the trigger fingers through it. If I can get his fingers open enough to hold it this time. There we go. There. As you can see, he can hold his chrono sabers in two handed, or he can combine them. And then you have it like that. So there's those effects with the chrono sabers. And then the effects piece for him now is this lightning effect which you can slide onto one of the chrono sabers like that as you can see so there's that and that's pretty much it for his accessories so now we're going to take a look at his posability so here's the Time Force figure, and as you can see, he can look up that far, and he can look down that far, not very far. Uh, for his arms, he can rotate 360, by butterfly joints, arms move up that far, and they move down that far. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, wrists can move up and down. 
on all the hands. Diaphragm joint, ab crunch forward, crunch back, kick forward that much, back not very far, butter, er, not butterfly, swivel at the thigh, double joint knees, boot rotation, ankles move down and up, and ankle pivot. And that's it for the articulation of the Time Force Red Ranger. So now we'll get them all set up so we can do some size comparisons. So here is the Time Force Ranger, and he is standing at just over six inches tall. And for our size comparisons, here he is to our last video review for the Ranger Red Week. Here he is next to the Red Zeo Ranger. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the red Dino Thunder Ranger. So you can see how they scale together. And for your basic six inch scale comparison, here he is next to the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, Star Wars Black Series, Captain Rex figure. So there you have that. So here is the Time Force Red Ranger in an action pose. I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. Definitely recommend this figure if you are a Time Force Power Rangers fan or if you are a fan of Power Rangers in general. Uh, I think I also saw him on sale on Amazon for 13 Yeah, it was him. For $13, him and Zio. So if you guys want to get the Time Force Red Ranger, I would recommend going there. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you again for watching this video from start to finish. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you want to see on the channel, and I will try and get a review for you guys. Um, and thank you for watching. We will have one more Red Ranger review tomorrow, and next will be next week will be the Mando week. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.